Hey guys, it's Jace here. Welcome to another lesson. Today, before we actually start playing, I just thought I'd quickly discuss something with you. When I was a kid, and I'm 24 years old now, so it wasn't that long ago. When I was a kid, there actually was no YouTube. So basically to learn, you had teachers, friends, CDs, and also magazines, which occasionally came with DVDs, which was pretty cool. But there was no resource like we have now, which is really, I think, wonderful for guitarists. I know I use it myself so much, which is why I wanted to give something back and show some of my tricks. I deliberately try and keep these videos short and tight and maybe you can just take one cool idea from it rather than me bombard you with a whole lot of stuff because the idea here is not to have you play more like me, it's to have you play more like you and better. So the concept of my videos is really just to give one simple or cool technique and hopefully that will spark something in your imagination and get you playing better and better guitar because that's what it's all about. So today I wanted to show you something I love doing which is using open drone strings. Drone string is when a string is ringing open as you play other strings. So a simple example would be I have the top E string and I'm going to strum it and it's going to be ringing open as I play a melody in the key of E on the adjacent B string. That's a pretty cool sound because that open string jangle gives a lot of life and color to the music and it makes a certain sort of mystical and stuff. So it's a really cool technique. And you might already know that. A lot of guitarists know that style. What I like to do is get as many strings as possible involved. So the next idea would be to have the top two strings ringing open. And I'm still gonna play an E minor, or I could play an E major, but E minor. Because you got the E note, the root note, the B is the fifth of E minor, so it should sound good as well. And all I'm going to do, I guess this goes back to another lesson I've discussed previously, playing on one string. So I play on one string when I do this drone technique. Starting on the E note on the G string, I'm just going to improvise a simple melody and let the top two strings ring open and hopefully we'll get a nice harmonic sound. <laughs> Same concept applies, I'm just going to move one string lower for the melody note. So now, E, B, G will all be ringing open, which of course make, that's correct, an E minor chord. So we're going to play an E minor. We're going to take an E note, second fret of the D string, improvise a simple melody, leaving those ones ringing open. I love doing that because the more open strings ringing out, A, the louder you can make your guitar, which in a lot of playing situations, especially on the acoustic guitar, you need to be loud. So it's one thing to play really well in your bedroom, but if you're in some kind of band environment or a live environment and people can't hear your guitar, this is not good business boss. So using lots of drones means you can play it a lot louder, which is good. You could use four strings ringing open, That'd be an E minor seven. I personally don't do it much, but that's fine. I encourage you to experiment. One thing I love doing, and I think this is awesome, is playing octaves. So I'm gonna play octaves on the A string, the fifth string, and the G string, the third string. Once again, I'm starting on E. E's the easiest, but you can also do open tunings and stuff, blah, blah, blah. You can do that yourself, or we can talk about it later. I'm gonna play octaves on these two strings, and I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna mute, the fourth string with these two fingers or just one finger. Muting is important, we'll talk about that later as well. Allowing the bottom string and those top two strings to ring out. As I pluck these strings, basically the whole guitar is going to be singing in E minor. So go away and practice and have fun with that and let those strings ring open. Let them be free.